Hey everybody, my name is David Petty, and I am here with another one of our Lenten daily devotionals with Crossfire Faith and Gaming. Crossfire is an online faith-based community of gamers. And I'm Russ Dornish, and today is day 36 in the book On the Threshold of Transformation, and it is titled Unknowing. Enlightenment, John 8, verse 12, cannot be manufactured, manipulated, or delivered on demand. It is always given from another. Wisdom is not a do-it-yourself project. The spirit blows where it pleases, and for those of us on the journey, all we can do is listen for the lessons and remain open. Jesus called this faith. All we can really do is ask for grace to be open and willing enough to recognize the secret doorways God opens for us. The door is almost always some so form of suffering, physical, relational, emotional, intellectual, or structural. I define suffering, and this is the author saying he defines suffering as what happens to you whenever you are not in control. Enlightenment is not about knowing as much as it is about unknowing. It is not so much learning as unlearning. It is about surrendering and letting go rather than achieving and possessing. It's more about entering the mystery than arriving at a mental certitude. Enlightenment is all a gratuitous grace, and the only reasonable response is a grateful heart and the acknowledgement that always there is more to the mystery. So today's question uh, that I'm going to pose to Russ first is, when have I experienced enlightenment and what was the impetus? So Russ, what, uh, what would you say? When have you experienced enlightenment? We're starting off with some light questions today. Uh, yeah, um, I think I really connected with the part where it talked about Rather than it being about knowing something, it's about figuring out what you don't know um, and figuring out the unknown. Um, and I can recall, I think one of my um, classes that I took in college, uh, which was interpreting the Bible, I think that was my kind of big enlightening moment. Um, it, it made me really think about the fact that there's a lot more to just reading the Bible than um, simply just going through like a storybook or just reading verse by verse through the whole thing. There's a lot more nuance and uh, development and analysis that you can do to really understand what you're reading. And I think that was a huge enlightening moment for me. Um, what about you, David? What was something that you experienced uh, as far as enlightenment goes? Um, yeah. Uh, the reason? Uh, I think for me, it was actually, it was a moment that I was, um, you know, they always say like, if you want to learn something, teach it. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine, one of the first times I was in my seminary, uh, classes and my friend said, you know, I just can't wait to get through my master's degree and get my PhD so that I will know everything. Um, and it was that moment that I kind of had the insight and responded. And I said, I think the people that I know who have their PhDs know how little they know, uh, more so than those of us who, uh, have less knowledge are unaware of how much we know. So in some ways, I think the, the enlightenment of unknowing is to unknow the fact that we know everything, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, yeah. you know, to, 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 I put it this way. Uh, if you first hear about the, the fact that there's ABC and you learn ABC, then you think you've, you've got it all, but then somebody shows you the entire alphabet and you think, Oh gosh, there's so many more letters that I have to learn. Uh, you know, same thing with colors. If you just learn like yellow and red and blue, uh, you start off with these primary colors. Well, then there's magenta and salmon and taupe and, and more colors than I can name because now I know how few colors I know. So, yeah, no, I definitely agree with that. Um, I think it, it, it's interesting when we really think about enlightenment, some people just think it's, uh, this like ultra high being of knowing. Um, and I definitely think there's a lot more to it. Um, but that's going to do it for today. Um, make sure you guys uh, like and subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. Um, and make sure you continue the conversation at Crossfire Faith and Gaming on Facebook. So we'll see you guys tomorrow with our next daily devotion. Crossfire.